all of a sudden want a pie. It's time for the Mic Drop. I'll end each show by going deep on one topic affecting our community. What is pumpkin pie season? In hopes we can all learn a little bit more. It is October 1st. Take a breath. Pull it in. You smell that? That's pumpkin spice, baby. Get used to it because it's going to be with us for a while. It's that time of year. It's also the time of year that we start thinking about Halloween costumes and I'm not talking about the kids. Trust me, they've already decided. Pick a random child and ask them what they want to be for Halloween. They got an answer waiting. A cowboy, Black Panther, Elsa. My little girl wants to be Bob the Builder. I don't even know how she knows what that is. Ask an adult. It's 50-50, you'll get anything that's appropriate. And that's who I'm here for this evening. Those of you who haven't quite learned what's suitable for Halloween and what isn't. Well, here at the open mic, we put together a short list of five costumes we feel have no business being worn this Hallow's Eve. This goes out to those of you planning on dressing up like R. Kelly or anybody who defended R. Kelly, like Bill Cosby, or Bill Cosby, or anybody who defended Bill Cosby, like O.J. Simpson. You see where I'm going with this. Let me help you. And I wish we didn't have to be here, but the first one we're going to start with proves why we have to be here. Number five, anything having to do with blackface. How are we still having this conversation? I can't believe I got to say this in 2021, but yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all act like y'all want those pictures out. Do you want to be governor? Oh, yeah, my bad. Let's just move on. Number four, Nicki Minaj. It is past. Look, in the past, this was such a great choice for a Halloween house party. But not this year. That costume got taken out by research. Here's a replacement suggestion, though. Nicki's cousin's friend. Yeah, that's the one, ladies. I think with the right planning, you could pull this off. And speaking of research, number three, Bradley Beal. Now, it, it's, it's an easy look to put together, and it works most years, but it's hard to walk around the neighborhood with the full weight of YouTube science on your shoulder. Besides, there's plenty of other wizards that you can dress as. There's John, um, there's Russell, uh, West, um, LeBradford Smith. There you go. Boom. Number two, Mike My Pillow Lindell. Now, I know this seems like a good costume, but crazy only works on Halloween if there's an ax involved, not a handful of conspiracy theories. Which brings me to number one, the leader in the clubhouse, the QAnon shaman. Yes, yes, sure, a Q-Shea costume seems like a natural. The plastic yak horn rag on the head, the body paint, the bargain store pants, but we already have that costume. It's called a clown. And it works better when they're not screaming nonsense through a megaphone. That's why they're silent, like the clown gods intended. Now you have your list, five, four, three, two, one. Don't say I never gave you nothing. I am here to stop you from being canceled, and more important than that, to stop you from being fired.